How do you feel your linebackers have handled what you guys are asking of them through three games in the sense of assignments, technique, everything that comes with playing the position? Well, you know, I think that's been, there's been a, a level of improvement every week. You know, I think we've asked a lot of those guys from a schematic and from an expectation standpoint. And I think they're rising to the challenge. Every opportunity that they, that they get, they're getting encouraged and challenged. Every opportunity that we have. And I've, I've been impressed with some things that I've seen. And obviously, there was some room for growth. Um, so each week, I, I've seen, I have seen growth. Hey, Coach, particularly with the, the younger guys, um, and I know every player on the in your segment is new to this defense um, and new to you as a position coach, but particularly with the young guys, um, how, how good has, have these opportunities been for them to, to play? I know they obviously made mistakes like everybody else, but – how have you seen them respond to some of those things early? You know, I, I think when it comes to this level of football at, at this particular institution, you don't see young players play as early as maybe some of the guys that are playing at linebacker, right? And I think in order to earn that type of opportunity, you have to be a, a, a particular caliber of player and young person to earn that position and, and earn that opportunity. And I think we have some really young players who are really special, you know, and Steven and DJ – that have been granted opportunities that, quite frankly, that they've earned and that they've earned from uh, the respect of the coaching staff, the respect of their peers. And it's been really impressive just to watch them come along. And so I, I think with each practice and with each game, obviously they learn more. The more football you play, I think the better player you become, the more experienced you become. And so it's been really, it's been really fun to watch, fun to coach. Um, those guys are they're fun to coach. Coach Fuller kind of touched on that the other day, and it was kind of interesting. I think a lot of times as fans of media, we think, okay, play younger guys because, you know, there's, you know, the, this will be good for them for the future. But but it sounds like what you guys are saying is they, they have to they have to perform better. They have to earn that opportunity in practice. It's not just a matter of giving them a chance to – give them a chance to learn under fire. Yeah, I mean, whoever's on the field, the opposition doesn't care that they're a freshman. Right, they don't care that it's a red shirt senior. They want to know if that we want to feel comfortable. With whoever's on the field, that they're going to be able to do what we're asking them to do. And so, um, regardless of classification, we want to put people out there that we can trust. And you know, specifically with those two you just asked about, they've earned the trust of us. And I think they're continuing to earn it uh, just by the way that they work, the maturity that they have, and just the care level that I think is unique to them because of who they are as people. Coach, at Vanderbilt, I'm sure you had many chances as a player to play in big games where you know maybe you and your teammates were sort of outmatched. I'm, I'm sure that didn't affect the way you prepared and played. But as like a team leader, when you're in those situations where you were asking your teammates to, to really find a different level of their play and, and things didn't work out your favor, uh, I mean, how, how did you as a leader kind of uh, you know uh, balance that out? And, and are there lessons to be taken from that in your coaching this week? You know, what, what I think is that – as a team, as a collective, and as an individual, I think it's incumbent upon yourself to be the best version of yourself. Be the best version of yourself and the best version of yourself that, that is a part of a grander collective. And if everybody can do their 111, there, there is something special that can occur, regardless of the opposition, um, what particular school, what conference, that doesn't matter. It's, it's about your self-standard and the self-standard of the group of people and how you go about your business when you decide to step on the field. And then your preparation um, and your studying of the game and how you take care of your body and what you expect from one another and how you hold each other accountable. I think that's what matters more than anything. Um, who, you, who you line up across from, in my opinion, that, that, that doesn't really matter. You talk about kind of not throwing those young guys out there unless they're ready. But, I mean, you look at, I mean, with, with two senior starters, it's entirely possible that next year those guys are going to be in much larger roles. You, you may not put them out there before ready, but, I mean, how much do you think it will benefit them if they have to step into those roles next year? They, they kind of will have, have gone through those growing pains and have a year of experience under their belts. You know, you know I don't want to pontificate, but, you know, I, we're comfortable putting guys out who we know can get the job done. That's what it's about, you know. And so I think, again, playing football at a high level against somebody in a different color jersey, obviously experience, uh, I think it breeds confidence. 
And, it, and obviously, I think it helps make you a better football player. You get better at football by playing the game. And so I think it'll be really good for them to continue to, to do what they've been doing. Because the way they go about their work, it's impressive. And it's impressive to watch. If you if you weren't a part of this program, you had the opportunity to meet some of our young players. And, and not just the two I mentioned earlier, but if you got the opportunity to watch those guys work and how they go about their business, you, you wouldn't realize what their age was or their classification was. They just care that much. And so we're, uh, we're working to make sure that we're all prepared, whoever's on the field. One young linebacker we haven't seen is McCluster. How's he doing in practice and just working to get better? Yeah, Jayon's developing. No, he, he's an impressive young kid as well. He, uh, he's working. He's, he's has his weight up uh, since, ever, since arriving. He, uh, he's coming along, and we're excited to have him. Coach Norvell um, said today the the effort, maybe attention to detail, things like that weren't up to the standard today at practice. Um, w- when when a team is kind of trying to find its way, is the key just kind of uh, – I mean, some of those days are probably going to happen for every program in the country. Is the key just getting to a point where you have less and less of them? Yeah, so nobody's perfect, but the standard never wavers. The standard never wavers. And so our thing is to continue to preach the message – and Coach Norville's vision, and to make sure that the guys understand where the standard is and how it's never going to move. And so their job and our job as coaches is to make sure that it's met. And quite frankly, at some point, we hope to exceed it and continue to, to improve and, and be what we know we're capable of being. All right, thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you, guys. Y'all have a good afternoon.